Greetings. My name is Beth Jones, and as of July 1st, I will be serving you as the superintendent of the new Williamsport District. I grew up as part of the former Central Pennsylvania Conference, uh, but I moved to be with my husband in the Wyoming Conference, where I served two appointments in the local church and the last two years as the Scranton District Superintendent. I have some ties to both the Wellsboro and the Williamsport districts, so I'm excited to move back to the area that I know and love. But enough about me. I know you have questions about how this whole new thing is going to work. Geographically, we do have the largest district in the conference, and that's something to be proud of. We have the most square miles to turn upside down for the sake of Jesus Christ. Now, I know this is going to present some challenges to us. The biggest challenge is going to be a way to be open to a new way of operating. We simply can't do things the way they've always been done. Not just because we're a larger district, but it's because we're in a new day. I'm learning a new way to be a district superintendent, and you will have to learn new ways to relate to one another as local churches, as laity and clergy, as clusters, and as a district. Why? Well, because God calls us to make disciples for Jesus Christ. And as United Methodists, we have a structure already in place that allows us to do this together. And we must do this together. Our message is too important. Potter, Bradford, Tioga, Sullivan, and Lycoming County United Methodists are going to do this together because we can't afford to work separately from one another anymore. My mission at the district level is to make your mission a reality. Your mission is to introduce people to Jesus Christ and in doing so to help change the world. If your church is about this mission, I'm honored to resource you and support you in any way that I can. But I'll have to be a little blunt. If your church is only focused on existing for itself, I can't spend much time working with you. Our time is too precious, and our time is too short, and our message is way too important for any of us to be spending time on that stuff. If you want to be vital in ministry, regardless of your size, if you worship 15 or 150 or 600, if you want to find solutions and excitement in being active and vital for Jesus Christ, then I and my new team want to help you as much as we can. New team, you say? Why, yes, I'm glad you asked. Three staff members are going to be working together at the district level to help empower and resource you at the local church. Jill, Jill Johnson, whom some of you already know, will continue to serve as the administrative assistant in the Williamsport District Office. She's already working new expanded hours, up to 30 hours each and every week. When you call my office, you'll hear jo uh, Jill's voice on the phone. Ed Proant is our new assisting elder. Ed will be working uh, an average of 15 hours per week, and Ed is going to be helping me with all kinds of different uh, situations and activities throughout the district. As an elder, he'll be able to preside at Charge Conference. He'll also be able to uh, visit individual churches and to resources and resource in places that he needs to be. We'll be working closely together to assess the possibilities and the needs of the district. There'll be times when Jill or Ed will be best equipped to assist you in your church. There are times when I will be the contact person. At all times, your first contact will be with the district office, and I ask you to trust me and to trust my team to connect you with the person or the team best suited to resource you. Team, you ask? Well, I'm so glad you did. We hope to, uh, over the next year, expand our staff to include many of you. Ed and I will be developing teams of people who will be sent to work with churches on a variety of situations from revisioning to goal setting to financial issues to conflicted situations. You may be asked to consider serving on one of these teams. And as we seek to be in service to one another by utilizing the gifts and talents that are already here on the district. 
My mother always said that many hands make light work, and maybe that's why she had five children, but it's true. We are much closer to fulfilling our vision for Christ in the world when we see the answers in one another. We, we need to improve the way that we speak and talk and communicate with one another. So that's one of my first goals, is to improve communication. To work together, we must be able to communicate with one another. This is a challenge in such a geographically large area. So we have to communicate differently. We have to communicate more effectively than we've ever done before. My goal in the next few months is to set up three gathering places, aside from the district office, where people can meet and conduct by video, um, or connect by video to either the district or the conference office, or anywhere else. We can meet in large or small groups, hold trainings, or even worship together across the miles. The district news will come via email now on a weekly basis so that information can continue to flow quickly and often. We also want that information to flow both ways. So another goal for me is to set up a web presence where ideas can be shared across the miles. We can post videos of the work in our local church, share ideas, and even post questions as we seek to fulfill our mission together. I wouldn't have said yes to this new chapter in my life, in all of our lives, if I didn't believe in God's powerful presence through prayer. And I know that you believe in this power as well. I want to end by saying that I will be praying each and every day for this district and for the people serving God right here. Each morning I spend significant time in prayer. Mostly it's just silence opening up to God's presence. But I also lift people and churches and situations before God and sense God's presence working there already. I ask you to do the same. I will be offering times where we will gather together to share our journeys of faith and spend hours in silence, learning to listen again to God's presence in our lives. It is my prayer for all of us as we begin this new chapter in ministry together that we will pray for each other, that we will listen to God's action in our lives and together fulfill that mission to help people know Jesus Christ so that we can transform the world.